I've never done anything like this before. There we go. Oh, look at that. Are you serious? Oh my God. Every now and again, a trip just falls into place and sometimes all too well. We will get into this new technique in just a few minutes, but just take into account what takes place next happened literally seconds after the lure hit the water. Are you serious? That's actually a fish. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. Oh my goodness. Literally, that is crazy. What? That is crazy. Are you serious? Oh my god. What just happened? That is huge. That's crazy. That is just stupid, man. We literally just got out here and I was just testing to see how the lure swam. Look at the size of that perch. Okay, let me try explain this as best as I can for you guys. So I literally got out here and it is super, super windy. So what I was like, I was thinking what I could do to try and catch some fish. So we've actually headed really far up river and I just tied on this brand new lure I bought the other day just to see how it swims. I casted it out the back and literally within five seconds, we hooked up to a fish and I just rushed to turn the cameras on for you guys. Least expected fish I've ever caught. And I'll show you guys, it is an absolute cracker. That is an absolute tank. It's a tiny smidge of 47 centimeters. And that's my second biggest perch ever and literally is the most unexpected catch I've ever had. Look at that fish, man. Look at that. That is an absolute tank. 46 centimeter perch. Literally haven't started filming yet. Haven't done anything. We just came out here and caught this fish. That is just stupid. Look how fat it is too. Wow. Wow. 46er. All right, let's get him going. It makes me a little bit sad we didn't get him fully on camera, but either way, that is an absolute cracker. 46er, pushing 47 centimeters. Let's let him go. What an absolute bruiser. He's ready to go. And see you later, mate. Off you go. Straight down. Now, as you guys just saw, that was complete luck. We just caught an absolute monster of a perch. My second biggest one ever. 46 pushing 47 centimeters on this little hard body. So this gives you a little clue of what we're going to be doing We're actually going to be trawling some lures today I've never done this before but I've actually talked to some locals and they have a lot of success Trawling hard bodies up this stretch of river. So that's what we're going to be doing as you can see We've got this little actually Daiwa spike lure So this is what we're going to start off with and hopefully Hopefully we'll be able to replicate what we just did because that was insane so let's just get straight into it. We actually don't have long until the sun's going down. We have about three hours of daylight and then it's going to get dark. And we're actually going to be fishing the last of the outgoing tide. So that's always a good time to be chasing estuary perch. So we're just going to throw that lure out a little bit and then flip that bail arm. And we're just going to be towing that about 10 meters behind the kayak. So that's all we're going to be doing. Literally, you can see the vibration in the rod. So that lure's making a big commotion in the water. And hopefully an estuary perch picks it up. I've never done anything like this before. Well, by now, last time we already had a fish on, so <laughs> a little bit of luck definitely to start off with. So we just lined up our little drift again, and what we're actually going to do is troll two lures at once. So all I'm gonna do is chuck this one lure behind us, and we're just gonna chuck this one in the rod holder. So as you can see, that's in the rod holder like that. That's vibrating away. And then we're actually gonna have this other one out the back on the other side. So my plan is, is to have one lure running along the weed line and then one lure out a bit deeper. So we'll chuck that other one behind us now and we're in business. I feel like we just fluked it before. We absolutely fluked it. Literally just put the lure in to test it out and now we can't get another hit. There we go. That's a fish. We got one. We've got one. There we go. Yes. We've actually got one. On the trawl. Yet again. It's another very solid fish. Oh. The other lure's still out. It could definitely get tangled, but never done anything like this before. It's another beast. Yeah, look at that. That is insane. 
Oh, he's going for the weeds. That could be just as big as the other one. Literally. Look at that. He's got that right down too. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? That one's just as big, if not bigger. On the troll. This is crazy. Oh, he's bleeding. Oh, he's bleeding. Okay, we've got to be quick. Look at that fish, man. This fish is going to be fine. I've got that lure out of the bad spot, so that bleeding stopped. Oh, yes, man, look at that fish. That is an absolute beast. All right, let's just get one quick look at this absolutely beautiful fish. As you guys saw, there was a little bit of blood, but it's actually completely stopped now since we've got that hook out. It was just in a little bit of an awkward spot. But that hook's out now, and she is going to be absolutely fine. 45 centimeter beast. First one was 46. This one's 45. <laughs> let's get him going. All right, thank you so much, mate. Absolute beast of a fish, and hopefully he'll be fine. I'm 99% 90, sure this fish is going to be fine. Have a look at that. Bleeding's completely stopped. Got that hook out of the awkward spot, so she'll be right. And boom, straight down. Oh, where's she going? Yep, straight down. How was that? These little lures are doing the damage so far. I'm pretty sure they'll eat anything when they're going like this, but still, they're loving this little silver one. The silver one's got two so far. That red one hasn't got any yet, and it actually broke one of the front trebles. So the trebles aren't very good on this, but we're still gonna keep using it. The back trebles are the main ones, in my opinion, and they're still good. So let's send it back out again, and we'll do another drift right up there. Well, not even a drift, another, whatever you call this, another troll. We'll do another troll back up there. So we'll chuck that back out again. Have that lure probably 10 meters behind the kayak, I'd say. We'll have that drag a little bit looser this time. All right, that's back out again. Let's see if we can get one on this little red one. Looks really good, so hopefully they'll pick up the red one too. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's another good one. Oh, oh, I feel like we had a bunch of hits just then. Oh, wow, he's all the way out there. This one could be bigger than the others. He's gonna tangle me up the line. Look at him, he's swimming against the current and against me. Wow, this is crazy. Never had a, look at all that, that's a big fish. I've never caught so many big perch, like really big perch. He's huge. Yep. My goodness, he's not massive, massive, but still he put up a crazy fight for his size. And that is the third perch of the afternoon in about an hour. This trolling stuff is so much fun when they're biting like this. Another quality fish. Let's send him off. See you later, mate. Straight down. <laughs> yes. Oh, the third fish over 40 centimeters. Oh my goodness, this is just crazy. We've got a 46er, a 45. That one was over 40. We're just having a crazy session. Absolutely mental. Let's get these lures back out again. Start towing them around. Both of the hookups, two of them have been really foul, but, well not really foul, they've just been in really bad spots, but we've got them out luckily with no harm to the fish. So we've got very lucky in that regard, but Let's get these lures back out. I reckon we just lost a few of them as well then. Felt like we were having a bunch of hits. That was probably one of the most fun sessions I've ever had. As you guys saw, we tried out a new technique, some towing, some hard body lures around. I think we caught three fish doing that. So it was an absolutely awesome afternoon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I sure did. If you did, leave a like on the video, comment your thoughts below, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.